Hi, I'm Serena Brawls, host of the Pottery Channel. I'd like to welcome you back and let you know about a few things we've got going on in our channel. We've got some new things that are hitting production right now and you should see them pretty soon. One of them is called the Meet the Potter. And we're going to be going down to various pottery shops and letting you see a behind the scenes look, get a little bit more um, conversation going on with our potter, find out more about them, about their shop. And one of those shops that we're going to be visiting is McCandless Pottery. And we have again with us Will McCandless. Thank you very much for being back with us. Great to Appreciate be you coming back. He's brought some more of his work with us and uh, we're looking forward to coming down and visiting you shortly but that is in the works and it will be both on the Roku channel and it will also be on the internet on our website and that is www.thepotterychannel.com so we look forward to that and we're, we've got that in the works now so it should be with you shortly how are you this evening? Glad to have you back. I'm doing great. Good. Uh, we're going to start out by letting you tell us uh, where your shop's located and how they can reach you because we know they're going to want to after they see all the beautiful things that you brought us today. Well, great. Um, I have two locations in the Seagrove area, one in downtown Seagrove and uh, one on Pottery Highway 705. They're just three and a half miles apart from each other. Uh, the phone number is 336-879-3610. Uh, I'm on the web at www.mccandlesspotter.com. My email address is there, but I'll give it to you again. It's uh, www.mccandless.pottery at yahoo.com. Okay, and uh, this is your second time back, but we have a whole new batch of things to look at today, don't we? Absolutely. Wonderful. We'll uh, get started and look at our first item. And this first item is a little different than anything we had on our past show. It's a different style. Can you tell me a little bit about this style? What, is, what kind of a pottery style is this? This is um, a process uh, known as the zinc silicate macro crystalline glaze. And that sounds like a lot, but essentially what I'm doing is I'm uh, taking zinc oxide, which is a metal, and uh, making a glaze uh, alongside silica which when it reaches a certain temperature will become a glass and uh, right around 2350 degrees Fahrenheit the zinc oxide and the silica will inherently combine and uh, form a zinc silicate crystal so you have to remember there is no crystals whatsoever as you apply the glaze the crystals only occur at right around 2350 degrees Fahrenheit this particular piece, we've got, I'm turning it a little bit now so you can see the darker background and the crystals just pop right out. Beautiful, shiny. Um, some of them look like a uh, flower bloom. Others, we've got little sticks and it actually has a texture to it. You can take your hand and feel where the crystal has bloomed, for lack of another word. Since it looks like a flower, that's what I'll call it. But this particular plate has a lot of different coloring in the variation. I see uh, we've got some uh, almost a lavender purple around the edges down here. I'll turn it so, up a little bit so you can see how it's and then as it slopes inward just a little bit in the depth of the plate you've got a, a tan beige which blooms into the crystals and a very dark glazed bottom here. You can see the different colors and the different variations there and that is MP 011 is a crystalline plate. This is $208. Um, to, and um, this is a, a beautiful in the different colorations here. But of course, if you pick this out, it is unique. There's only one like it. How can we be absolutely sure? We see this, we get our number, our MP 011, we get it all down, we call you at your number. When you're shipping it out to us, how can, what assurances do we have? We're going to get this plate. Our neighbor's not going to get it. Uh, we're not going to have it in pieces. What do you do with your shipping to make sure we, can, we get what we ordered? Well, in Seagrove, uh, we've become uh, very savvy in shipping pottery, which uh, takes a lot greater care than, uh, than uh, your typical shipping. And uh, every piece we ship is uh, wrapped in paper, followed by bubble wrap. And then it's uh, boxed once in uh, popcorn and then boxed again. 
Uh, the piece is then insured so that uh, you can rest assured that uh, if anything does happen to it, that uh, the piece is insured and that, uh, that uh, you can recover your, um, your purchase. And uh, it certainly is beautiful. That's MP011, and that is the crystalline plate, $208. And we'll take a look at another piece. And it's also crystalline, but it's not a plate. It's a vase. And it is a very unusual vase. The, the actual size and shape of it is, let's see, we look like we've got about 11 and a half inches, almost a complete foot tall. And we're looking at about, oh, five and a half inches, maybe, through the bowl section around here. But uh, what color would you call this? Well, the colorants used in, um, in crystalline pottery are pulverized metals. And um, there's two metals used in the coloration of this glaze, and that is copper, which uh, gives you a variety of green colors from uh, light to dark green colors, depending on the percentage of copper added. And at the top of this vase, um, I added iron oxide, which typically gives uh, browns, golds, uh, tans, that sort of thing. And so the, um, the pulverized metallic pigments are staining the crystalline glaze, which all by itself is clear and opaque. And uh, we can get a broad variety in, of color in crystalline glaze because it starts off white using uh, various pulverized metallic pigments. And uh, as you see close to the top, that's the, you were talking about before, it's sort of a brown color. This is a very unique shape. It's got the ring, sort of rings at the bottom. It's a very distinct shape. This number is MP013. MP013, crystalline vase, $142. And again, if you uh, are interested in this, keep down that number, MP013. And you can give Will a call at 336-879-3610. Uh, we'll move on to our next piece, which is also a vase, but a very different one. It's also in the green colors and the olives, and but this has uh, the the background color is a very sea green or a very sea foam, where the other was sort of a mossy, lighter green. This one, but the crystals in it are a darker green, and you can see how they've popped. And this one has had a lot of crystal growth. This one's, got, this one's got all sorts of interesting shapes, and I'm gonna turn it real slowly here so that you can um, see the greens that show up, and uh, you can see how that has the, the different background colors, and there's another one where you can see a crystal grew right in the center, kinda like a little island. So this is MP014. It's a crystalline vase, excuse me, $96. I'm about to jump, the, jump your profit there for you. <laughs> it is MP014, crystalline vase, $96. And uh, so we've got the crystals on there. That, uh, you were saying earlier that they, they grow. Can you control anything about the size, the shape, or how many of them process? You can, uh, you'd never have matter of fact control over uh, crystalline glazes. In other words, I can't say it's gonna have X amount of crystals or the crystal is gonna be a certain size or shape, but there are subtle things I can do to determine the amount of crystals I have on the pot in relation to the background glass. Uh, other controls that I have um, are the color, and that's simply determined by the amount of the particular metal that I add to it. But the most difficult thing to control about crystalline is the amount of crystals to the background glass, which uh, if you get that ratio right, then it really makes the overall aesthetic the most effective. And these are good pieces. Each of these bases you see, this one is MP014 at $96, but these bases are great for little niches, bookshelves, You've got a whole row of books, and you've got a little section over to the side. It really can add to the decor and make it interesting. And you can, choosing different colors to, to go with your books, um, 
it, it can add an extra little ping to your decor, but it can also add it to your collection. Um, each one of these pieces of pottery is signed in the pottery. It's not painted on, it's actually, for lack of another word, carved into the bottom. And it's mechanless pottery, so there's no doubt where it comes from. If you're a collector, that becomes very important to you because with time, uh, those things, being able to track where they come from for a collector, it's, it's priceless because it, it stands the test of time. Your collection, as your collection ages, will only become more valuable. Okay, and this, the next piece that we have up here, I think of all the pieces, it's not the biggest piece, but I definitely think it's my favorite, and that's because it has such a variety. I don't know how you did it. I'm gonna ask you in a few minutes exactly to give us an overview of it, but I'm gonna turn it real slowly, and you can see it's got not quite stripes, but we've got the beiges and the creams. We come around into a blue, and of course you see this beautiful blue right here. It's just, that crystal just almost complete circle, very symmetrical, it's gorgeous in there. Then it, this goes into a soft seafoam green with the olive crystals in it. It's, it's absolutely stunning with the different colors. I know you probably can't give me an exact, but give me an overview of how you got so many different colors and, and such a, a pattern on this. Well, first off, uh, multicolored crystalline vases uh, that I do are the most popular for obvious reasons. There's all that color in there, and uh, generally people, for the most part, they really like uh, brilliant color. You've got uh, a variety of color on uh, different sides of the vase. You can turn it a different way a different day and almost have another vase. But uh, to accomplish that, I'm uh, mixing up several zinc silicate crystalline glaze batches with the only different difference being the colorant that's added to those batches. And then I'm just uh, simply coloring a particular glaze batch on a portion of the pot that I want to be that color. And the zinc silicate crystals are gonna grow irregardless of where the metallic pigment is at. And so that's how I achieve uh, consistent crystals but color in different areas. Well, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. And this is MP015, MP015 crystalline vase, $198, and it, it's, again, keep in mind, these are unique pieces. He can do the same thing to two pieces of pottery, and they're gonna come out a little bit differently. Uh, no matter what you do, because it is handmade, it is a work of art. It is pottery, but it is definitely a work of art, and it's, some of these pieces are beautiful in one area of your home, and the other pieces will fit in a different area. Uh, they're definitely unique. They're definitely colorized so that they fit into a variety of places and styles. This is MP015 Crystalline Vase, $198. And you can email Will at mccandless.pottery at yahoo.com. Uh, he'd be glad to hear from you. I'm sure he would uh, be able to uh, help you out if you want a little bit different than this. If you're looking for something special, give him a call. He will certainly try to help you out. And he can be reached at 336-879-3610. And this next piece, it is not so much the shape, but the brown coloring in the bottom with the green reminds me of my grandmother. She had very functional pottery like this. She had the, the bowls that she used and things. This is a, a very country, very comfortable home down feel to me. Um, a very, very different than the other pieces that we've done. Um, I don't see any, this is not a crystalline, so this is a different style of pottery. But uh, explain to me a little bit about this one. This is our MP016 uh, crystalline vase. Well, this piece is a little deceiving. It doesn't look like the crystalline pieces that we've seen uh, prior, but it actually is two crystalline glazes in combination with each other. And at the top, what you're seeing is a zinc silicate crystalline glaze that's uh, colored with uh, copper for the deep green. And the bottom portion of the vase that is brown is a, another type of crystalline glaze, 
place known as adventurine, and adventurine is uh, an iron silicate crystal. And uh, as this piece is being fired, the zinc silicate crystal glaze is runny and runs down into the adventurine glaze. You have some crystals at the very top of the piece, but as it comes in contact with the adventurine, uh, the crystals do not form. But what I like about it so much is the, uh, the drippiness as it <laughs> enters it, and it almost looks to me like ferns uh, hanging over uh, a rock face. Uh yeah, I can see where that definitely, I can see where you see that. And also in addition to what makes you think of that is around the edges is a, not quite a beige, not quite a gold, kind of a yellow gold that, that frames the green leaves. As you can see it coming up and down through there, you see that yellow and that gives it depth. It also, in person, you see a very dimensional, um, it's, extraordinarily deep when you look at it you look like you're looking into a 3d color uh, even though it's, it's just on the surface of the bowl but you see all the different colors you see the darker you also see on the outside of the light golden you see a very dark almost outlined in a dark brown so it's a very unique piece in that respect this is MP016 crystalline vase $92 and it's a um, it's probably about seven, eight inches tall. That's about right. And it uh, looks like it's about, we're looking at about six and a half, maybe seven inches wide and the widest part of it there. It, uh, but yeah, it reminds me with the dark browns is a very earthy, uh, depending on what kind of, if you have a country decor, it would fit in very well with it. I'm sure there's other areas. I'm just, that's what it brings to mind because it reminds me of some of the things I've seen in my, my grandmother's house. And that is MP016 Crystalline Vase, $92. And again, give Will a call. He, he'll be sure to share with you how he did it. So if you brought this piece into your home, you'd have the history of how it's done, who did it, where it came from. And then we're going to move on to our next piece. And this is an entirely different piece than we've seen before on either of our shows that we've done. We're looking at a little bit over 12 inches, probably just a little over, say about 12 and a half maybe. It's not very wide. It's uh, probably about four inches on the top ball there and about four to four and a half on the bottom. Uh, one of the things that strikes me about this one, I know this is what you refer to as the bottle shape or the taller, thinner, looks more like the bottle, is the white on the bottom, if you're holding this in your hand, you would just about swear it's mother of pearl. It is, it's got the depth and the texture of the mother of pearl, the shine, the crystals on this have just popped into, it's the same color, it's white on white, but the shine and the texture of this is, is beautiful. And then of course we've got the blue at the top where you, you've got the darker blue crystals. And this is just, yeah, you can see in here, as I, I turn it in the light a little bit, you can see the three dimensions that are coming in and there's a little shadow of the light blue where it's dripped down. On this side, you've got a solid white area. So it's actually, it truly is one of those you mentioned earlier, you can turn from side to side. But tell me a little bit about this technique that we get the, the blue and the white like this. Well, the last couple of pieces that uh, we've shown really demonstrate uh, one of the really um, positive uh, aspects of crystalline glaze uh, in that, that it is a glaze that uh, we put in the realm of unstable glazes. And what that simply means is uh, crystalline glaze does not stay on the pot like most glazes do. It, uh, it runs. Now, Obviously, this can cause some logistical difficulties because you don't want uh, the excess to flow off the bottom and ruin your kiln shells and your kiln. So every piece that you see that's done in crystalline has a pedestal and a, and a catch dish to catch the excess. What we have here um, illustrating the running ability of crystalline is a cobalt blue pigmented zinc silicate crystalline glaze running into a crystalline glaze that is unpigmented. That white color at the bottom is what zinc silicate 
crystalline glaze looks like when no coloring is added. And it's just a great effect, especially when you run dark colors like cobalt, which gives this deep blue into a white. You can see how much it runs into it. And it gives kind of a, kind of a frosty, almost uh, as I see it, kind of a frosty, icy look. Mm -hmm. And this is MP017, MP017 crystalline vase, $148. And I like that, I'm sure that the, the two makes it a little more, I would think from what we've talked about earlier, a little more difficult to make the shape. It takes a little more practice and experience to get it. Absolutely. And that is MP017 crystalline vase, $148, but it, the coloring on that, you're right, the, the crystalline is like a frosty, um, icy type of look. And of course the blue goes right along with that, so. Our next thing we have up is, is a, another one of those interesting colors uh, in a different shape. It's a little bit squatter, MP018. And it's going to be about seven inches tall. And we're looking at about, oh, a good five inches in the, in the wider, in the bowl part here. So um, this particular shape, again, we've got the different colors. You can see the greens. And there's, I'll turn it around over here so you can see the blues. And I also noticed that inside, this section is also glazed. Uh, so are these vases, if, could you use them for real flower vases and put water in them? And so they're ready for that. They're glazed all the way down where it'd be safe. Um, you wouldn't ruin your piece of artwork by putting water in it. Absolutely, they're all designed um, to stand alone or to be used as flower vases. And uh, the glaze on the interior is just a slightly thinner uh, wash of the crystalline glaze which makes it watertight. Uh, whenever you're putting flowers in pottery or glass or even metal, the only thing you have to be concerned about is condensation so it's always good if you're putting a piece on um, like a nice piece of veneer to have a doiler or something that could avoid, um, absorb any of the condensation. Okay, well this is MP018 crystalline vase. It's a hundred four dollars and uh, if you like this piece and you think it would fit just perfectly in your home, be sure to give Will a call at 336-879-3610 or you can drop him an email and he'll be sure and pick that up at mccandless.pottery at yahoo.com. And that's MP018 Crystalline Vase, $104. And we're going into our next piece of pottery. This one is a interesting design in that it comes up into a smaller hole. It's a very round bowl. It's uh, definitely, as you see my hands around it, it's a two, what I would refer to as a two-hand bowl. Uh, when you're moving it around, that's what you tend to do. It's got, uh, I'll turn it in the light so you can see near the bottom, it tends to have more of the crystals in a pale yellow and green and a sort of a very thin, the section you're seeing right now has sort of a, a light white or gray, almost a stormy sky look in the background. This reminds me of a field of flowers down at the bottom. It looks like it's sitting in a field of flowers and I keep expecting a butterfly to land on the this, on this center section there uh, because it looks like a slightly stormy day. It's got flowers at the bottom, at least if, in a layman's terms, that's what it reminds me of. And that is MP019 Crystalline Vase, $108. And it, uh, it's, it's a nice wide. Around the bowl, you're looking at approximately, oh, eight inches, eight and a half inches. But I like the, it, it looks a little more yellow in person. A little brighter, uh, but I see definitely like a stormy sky on there, like the flowers against it. That's MP019 Crystalline Vase, $108. 
Now what we're about to see now in our next piece is uh, very much like what we've already seen except that uh, as you can see by the size of it in my hands it's a little bit smaller plate but it is no less brilliant in the way the crystals popped against that dark brown background. And I'm gonna turn this up a little bit so you can see how very defined, and instead of having a light lavender edge like the other one did, this one actually turned out with a, a darker, very bluish tint to it. Some places it's darker, some places, you see over here's a darker spot, moving into a lighter area there, and but in the center, against a very dark background there, you have the bright crystals that just bloomed open, very large. Yeah, a piece like this uh, really takes advantage of that uh, flow of the crystal glaze I was telling you about. Uh, the deep black and uh, kind of the amber colors as a result of the pooling crystalline glaze in there. And one interesting thing about flatware that has crystalline glaze is you can feel the strand structure of the crystals on there. Yeah, you do, and even like in here, you can feel the, the texturing if you do that and, and, and just feel it. You can feel the little lines showing up in there. This is MP020 Crystalline Dish, $36. And again, if this is something, this is a great starter piece. And, and by that, I mean, if you're interested in pottery, but you don't quite know what style you like yet, and you don't, you don't want to put a big investment, but you want a quality piece, this is an excellent starter piece. This is a piece that you can just start. It'll be beautiful on the shelf by itself, but at this size, which we're looking at about, oh, five and a half to six inches across, and the depth is no more than about three quarters of an inch, it's small enough so that you can set it in a small nook. It's bright enough by being a dark, the dark brown that it will show up on its own. So if you decide that this is not going to be a start of your collection, it's beautiful in the spot by itself. However, it's small enough to fit in and become accent pieces to your later parts of your collection that may be bigger and more brilliant. Um, so it's a, it's a nice addition. It's a good starter. You can, um, like I said, you can start out with this. It's a quality piece. It's at a very nice price to start out your collection. And then when you realize what you've got and you want to start adding to it, it will certainly be a nice accent. So I, I see this as it, it, nice on its own. It's beautiful. It's large enough to be seen, but it will also fit well with other pieces later as you add to it. Absolutely. This is one of the most popular items in the store uh, just because it's a... Uh... It's a smaller piece, it's affordable, but it gives you the full impact of how spectacular the zinc silicate crystal glaze can be. Oh, and especially this piece, if you're interested in MP020, the crystalline dish for $36, this is definitely something that you, you want to go ahead and give him a call at 336-879-3610 because this particular piece is absolutely stunning. It has, the whole bottom of it just looks like a firework. You know, it's, it's, it's an excellent piece. It's got a lot of crystals that have grown in the center and they stand out brilliantly against a dark brown bottom, so. Absolutely, crystalline glaze is uh, in a lot of ways kind of the peacock of all glazes and that uh, you get these spectacular effects and colors and it really has an impact on people, especially if they've never seen it before. Yes, it is. We're, we've got one more piece that we want to we want to show, and what you're seeing behind us. Tell us about what's coming up next. You can move that over for me a little bit because it's a nice big piece. Well, what we have here, this is a very large uh, crystalline vase, and this piece is actually turned in three sections that are joined, and the seams are covered. But uh, what we have, we have two crystalline uh, glazes on here. We have. Um, the top portion, which is uh, colored with uh, uh, iron oxide and manganese dioxide for that kind of uh, brown, uh, black and gray. And uh, that's running down into a crystal glaze that has a light percentage of uh, copper added to it. Yeah, that's, uh, and the inside of the, the actual crystals that have bloomed, you can see this has got a darker color, it's like a grain, but you can actually see the running in, in the crystal. So you can see the lines in the crystal as a flow down through there. You get the darker browns and lavenders, 
with slight tinges of purples and grays inside the crystal. That's right. Manganese dioxide uh, typically will give those uh, pink uh, lavender colors and that contrasting with the brown from the iron is a nice effect. And this is, um, well, this is just about two feet tall. It's Almost, a nice, yeah. this, this is not uh, a small piece to be ignored. This is definitely in your home. This will be noticed. And this is MP012 Crystalline Vase. Um, it's $1,350, 1350 but it is definitely a centerpiece for whatever decoration you're doing. It's absolutely beautiful. We've got, I'm going to turn it a little bit here so they can see some of the carefully turning it because it is not, it's also very solid. It is not lightweight. And you can see some of the crystals, how beautiful the crystals have just, the shine on those crystals almost looks like foil uh, where it pops out. And I want to turn it around one more time here and that way there's a huge crystal over here I want to show off. You can see several of them, very large crystals. Sometimes crystals will grow in clusters like that, which are interesting. And uh, seeing all the crystals on here and all the diversity and uh, mm -hmm. their shape and sizes is uh, something that never gets old as a process. Uh, I'm sure it doesn't because you, you never know what you're going to, to get. Uh, you can always hope it looks good, but you never know what you're going to get. This is MP012 Crystalline Vase. $1,350. It's, it's a beautiful, heavy centerpiece that will be beautiful in so many places. And again, we want to um, let's see, get, get it where you can see it a little bit better and turn it where you can get some of the, see some more of the crystal on it. And that is MP012 Crystalline Vase. Uh, Again, we'll go ahead and let you know to reach Will is 336-879-3610. You can email him at mccandless.pottery at yahoo.com. I know he'd love to hear from you. He'd love to hear it as we would. The Pottery Channel is always wanting to make our show better for you. We want you to participate and tell us what would be uh, something you'd like to see. And you can let us know by going on to the, our website, www.thepotterychannel.com. Or you can email us at info at thepotterychannel.com. Uh, if you'd like to call us, feel free to do that. We'd love to hear from you. That's 336-460-0544. Uh, just give us a call. Drop us an email. We'd love to hear from you. We'd like to uh, also remind you to take a look and check out our new sections that are coming on to the to Roku and that'll be Meet the Potter. We're working on that right now and we appreciate your time. Hope you saw some beautiful things and hope you'll give Will a call and pick up some of those beautiful things to put in your own home. Thank you. <music>